The batteries in your electronics may not be made overseas for very much longer. Iowa State University professor and Ames lab engineer Steve Martin is working with his team of graduate students to try to create better and safer batteries. This research could be beneficial for all of us as the world pursues alternatives to fossil fuels. Take energy produced by wind power, for example. Obviously, wind turbine energy production varies with the wind, and as long as the production of wind energy remains moderate, the existing electricity grid can accommodate the ups and downs. However, if wind energy becomes more than a quarter of all the electricity production, the grid wouldn't be able to handle it, and some of that energy would go to waste. Martin and his team are working on electrochemical energy storage mechanisms so that the excess energy can be stored. I caught up with Martin, where he talked about his battery projects and how his team is trying to make batteries better and safer. I've been involved in energy, energy storage in particular is one aspect of renewable energy. And I've been involved in uh, renewable energy projects uh, since I came here 25 years ago. And many people were not working on batteries at all. Uh, the United States had kind of moved away from that, but yet I still saw a very important, very critical need for good, strong, long-lasting batteries. Well, what we've been trying to do is take advantage of the high conductivity of liquids, but uh, when I say conductivity, I mean the ionic conductivity, like sodium salt water solutions, as you know, are high conductivity because of the liquid nature. But we want to take advantage of the solid character of the glass. And so we think with, and we've seen this, and that's research I've specialized in for over 30 years, we've seen that these frozen liquids, these glasses, these glassy solid electrolytes actually have very high conductivities, high sodium ion conductivities for a sodium battery or lithium ion conductivity for a lithium battery. Martin's team prepares, creates, and processes materials in the lab's glove boxes, and then are able to take these to their computer stations and infrared spectrometer. Here they measure and determine the chemical makeups of their materials so they can determine if that material is usable. Martin's attempt to replace lithium batteries liquid electrolyte with a solid one is part of a materials world network. The network's project is supported by a $1 million grant from the National Science Foundation. The foundation and Steve both hope it won't be too much longer before your batteries say, made in the U.S. For iState News, I'm Nick Oberender.